Hello everyone, welcome back to number two of the all-time list of anime genres. And number two is the sports anime. Now I'm going to go through a lot of sports animes at this point, but I'm going to tell you why it's not number one, but that's at the very end of the video. But there are a lot of anime sports that I've watched. You want your baseball, the Ace of Diamonds, big windup. There you go. There's your two best baseball animes in my honest opinion. Big windup's also on the top ten. I do believe, but that's beside the point. Then you've also got um, basketball, Hoop Days, Crocodile Basketball, which has a heart to me because Crocodile Basketball is the first anime that I watched that was in sub, so I really appreciate that. So that's the main reason why I got into sub, but. Those are your two baseball animes. You want obscure animes? Long Riders. You want to be a bicyclist? There you go. K Joe, you want your boobs and tits and battling it out? There you go, you know? <laughs> that's what K Joe is. It's a, it's a sports anime that's not technically a sport. You want your fucking hockey? You got Pr Pride of Orange. There you go, even though I didn't like it because it mainly was a pop idol fucking anime. It had nothing to do with it. Hockey was the main theme of it, but it wasn't really the. Focus on the hot sport, which pisses me off. You want your racing, initial D, and freaking two cars. You've like, there's a lot of sports anime I've watched, and I remember them all. Initial D is probably like the oldest anime um, at this point, but Initial D is really good. Um, same goes for two cars. That anime was really conceptively, although there was a love triangle. Of a side plot, which I didn't really care about that. You you want your goth, dying though, dando, whatever the hell it's called. And Birdie of Wings, there you go, there's your golfing anime. You want your um, uh, volleyball, haiku, and freaking, you want your beach volleyball? Freaking Haiku Doll receives, there you go. Um, let's see, what else sports anime? You want your skating? Radical dudes like in the 90s fucking use what skate infinity. There you go. You want your figure skating? You're your nice is a good anime for you. I didn't like it because I thought it was cheesy and corny. Um, you want American football? I shield 21. There you go. <laughs> Even though it's a little older, it's, it has 145 episodes. So yeah, I've watched my fair share of an sports animes. There's a lot of obscure animes like rock climbing club. There you go. There's another sport that I just named. Um, the, there's a lot of sports animes that I can go on down the list of how many sports animes I have fucking watched. And it's really fucking good. Um, if you want rugby, an anime that I don't even know about, all out. There you go. You see my point? There's a lot of sports anime that I know is my one of my favorite genres of all time. Because I've watched so many sports animes that it's not even funny. If you want your cheerleading, Emma Yell, there you go. If you want your freaking basketball, there's another basketball Emmy. I Rudy, what the hell it's called? I don't even know. Yes. Even even some animes from drama, like Little Busters, even though it's not it's mostly drama anime. The main the main plot of the first section of that anime is the fact that they're trying to make a baseball team. That's a fucking sport. Like, that's why sport is always at number two on my list of all time. Because of the fact that there's so there's so many references to sport. Cinderella 9, Princess 9, those are two other baseball animes. Like, there's so many baseball animes that I have fucking watched. Like, it's not even fucking funny. Like, that's the main gist of sports animes that I have watched. I can go down the list if I wanted to. But the main reason being is the fact that I try to watch sports animes... Of sports that I don't know that much about. Like I know about basketball. I watch the NBA all the time. I watch football. That's why I refuse to watch Ice Shield 21. Although I have watched the first episode though. But anyway. Ice Shield 21. Um, also baseball. I've watched baseball a couple times. Although I like how anime baseball. They go into the details of how to play baseball. And that's the main gist of it. Um. Haiku, I learned how to, how a team operates on volleyball and beach volleyball. Boxing. Megalo Box has, it's not really per se a good boxing when it comes to strategy on how to be a better boxer. But Hajini no Hippo is, is better come, come, like when it comes to the details of boxing. Like there's so many animes. Like there's two soccer animes that I haven't. That I haven't really dabbed into it. But I can't remember the name. Some animes. From Isekai Horror. And also. 
drama have sports in them. Like Cinderella 9 is about a girl's team that wants to be a baseball team. And they do do that, but they also have to get rid of the cornfield or whatever the hell it's called. I forget. And then they also got Princess 9 where a bunch of girls try to go up against guys and they get their asses kicked. Although in the last game they don't. It's really concepting, and I think that this anime is really fucking good. Um, I think that it's a, the anime of things. Prince of Tennis, that's another anime. You also got fucking ping pong. Like, seriously, there, there's like a bunch of sports animes that I know. There's an anime about ping pong. How in the fuck do you make a sports anime that has 26 fucking episodes about fucking ping pong? That's the main gist of things that I don't understand. Prince of Tennis is the same thing. Like, it's about tennis. Yeesh. Even that freaking anime where it got dark in the end. I forget what it's called. I don't know. Gina. It's about freaking soft. You also got fucking soft tennis. You also got scooter tennis. Like, there's a bunch of sports animes that I haven't even mentioned. Because I've already reviewed them. Like, Soft Tennis is a good anime. He's that anime where it has 109 episodes, but the two, but they're all two-minute episodes. That also is a sports anime. Like, the whole concept is them playing tennis for two fucking minutes, or less than that because of the theme song. But anyway, the, the whole concept of them is playing tennis, and, they're, and it's, like, completely fast-paced because it's only a two-minute episode. Like, there's a lot of sports and anime. That's why it's number two. Now, is it very popular? No, because some people do not like sports in general. So that's why it's going to turn them off on it. But to be frankly honest with you, I could go down the list on how many anime. He's pretty derby. That's a freaking Kentucky Derby freaking anime where all the horses are turned into girls and they're running around in a circle. Like, there's so many freaking animes that are, like, ridiculous when it comes to specific animes. Like, you don't even know how many sports animes there are that I haven't even dabbed into. Like, that's the scary part about it. Because there's probably, like, a, a lot of sports animes that I haven't even watched. That's the main gist of it. Now, I know this anime review is a... Well, this ain't an anime review. This is number two of the all-time genre list. But the only reason why this video is a lot more... A lot more better than the other two. Is because I have more to say about this anime genre. Because I'm very... I'm very... Compassionate when it comes to sports. And I love how... A sport... If I watch an anime that has to do with a sport that I don't even know about. It really... Makes me... Int intrigued on how the sport is played. And anime is the main gateway point for that aspect although sometimes some sports animes do not do it very well like orange of pride it's not pretty the hockey is a theme but they don't really talk about it that much it's mostly about their stupid fucking pop ballad bullshit type dancing curiosity it's so fucking lame and stupid but anyway but there are a lot of sports animes that i do love and they're and and it's really good on how they do it. So, what are you guys' thoughts on sports? And I could go down the list. Like, hey, like there's a lot of sports anime that I'm probably forgetting. But, you know what? That's what happens, man. Hope you guys have a nice positive day. And always stay positive. We'll be at number one. Now, the only reason, before I end this video. The only reason why it's not, not, not number one is because of reasons I will get into in the next video. So, even though I said I was going to say that in the beginning of the video. But, apparently that does not happen. So, stay positive, everyone.